Hello and welcome to the Reboot Speedrun tutorial. This is the video for the beginner route for level 4. This is when the game really starts getting harder. Uh, there's a lot going on in this level. A lot of enemies that we should be killing to get out of our way. Before the first hair spawns, come up here, grab the first key, and grab this rocket upgrade. We need the rockets to be able to finish the game. They are practically mandatory. After grabbing those, start heading over to the first tear. The tear cutscene will almost certainly play before you get here, that's normal. But the tear probably won't become vulnerable until you're there already. If you're hurry after the first tear, you can catch this platform cycle as it's coming up. If you caught that cycle, that means you're playing well. Next, we're going to go over to get the second key. Notice that you can shoot this turret from all the way down here, so you don't have to worry much about uh, getting close to that. If you fall during this platforming, don't worry too much about the bombs below you. They, they don't do much damage. Also, feel free to shoot these turrets early in that hallway. If you haven't destroyed them by the time you make that last jump, there's a decent chance they will just push you off. Uh, when you get here, if the tear is here or not, go ahead and get rid of that turret on the other side of the gap here. If that's alive, it'll kind of be in your way shooting at you. To get over to the third tear, I actually recommend doing these jumps. Uh, jump onto this curved surface. There's an extra life here if you want to grab it. It's a little tricky to stay on here, but I think it's worth learning how. Drop down to this ledge, shoot that turret before you jump over here. If that turret's alive while the tear is here, it will start shooting at you and get in your way. And then, if the tear has spawned or not, Either way, come get this key before mending the tear. Odds are you'll get here quickly, uh, well before the tear spawns, and it's better to go get that key instead of wasting time waiting for the tear. So, that is all three of the tears and all three of the keys. Before I cover going to the vid window, there's something else I want to cover. Uh, if you're having a lot of trouble doing the platforming to get to the tear that I showed. Uh, there's another way you can go there. The route that the game seemed to intend. Uh, going to this area where the first key was, there is a ramp here that has a little hallway. This also takes you to where the tear is. Personally, I found the platforming through this hallway deceptively difficult. It is much harder than it looks. I had a lot of trouble with this when I was first starting out. At this point, I find the platforming that I do now uh, to be not much harder than this, but it is significantly faster than going this way. But if you are having a lot of trouble with the platforming I showed to get here, uh, the advantage to this route is if you fall, if you fail one of these jumps, you can just leave this room swing around and try again. It's much, much faster to try again than the route I showed. So when you're starting out, this can be a good backup. A second thing I want to show. This secondary weapon in front of me is a new weapon. This is the box gun. This is new in this level. Uh, there's a route I came up with a while ago where you can use the box gun on the ABC tank that passes by here. Once it passes there, it'll pass by here again in a second or two. You use the box gun to freeze the tank in place, and then you can jump on it to jump up to this slope. And from here, you can start doing jumps to get over to the vid window. If you happen to be on a cycle of that tank where it passes by shortly after you mend the third tear, it is faster to take this route to get to the vid window. However, 
Odds are, you won't be on that cycle. If you mended all of the tears quickly, uh, the ABC tank will be many seconds away from getting there, and that's not worthwhile. That's just something to keep in mind if you notice you're on a good timing for that. Normally, after you've mended the third tear, you will come over to this platform again. Ideally, it uh, you'll be close to a good cycle for this, so you won't have to wait long. And then from here, you can get up to the vid window. There are a couple of options for this as well. The hard option, which is what I do in runs, is to do that jump to get to this ledge. This is pretty difficult. Uh, this probably isn't worth doing until you feel very comfortable with the movement. The much easier option, which isn't much slower, is to jump straight forward and then hop over here. Uh, from here you can just hold forward to get onto this ledge, and then from this ledge you can jump into the vid window. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, or feel free to ask in the Discord.